if x is a whole number, what other sets does x belong to? And we saw a couple of videos ago that I mentioned that the notion of the set of whole numbers is a little bit ambiguous. Sometimes whole number means non-negative integers. So sometimes it means non-negative integers. And sometimes it means all integers. But in this context, and I actually looked at what the writers of this question are looking for and the standards that they care about. So from their point of view, when they refer to whole numbers, they're referring to non-negative integers. So they're referring to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. And I also looked at what they refer to. And remember, this is just according to the writers of this question. This isn't according to how everyone views these things. But they view as nat they view natural numbers, they view natural numbers as just the positive numbers. As just the positive numbers. I told you two videos ago that some people view natural numbers as just the positive, but some people include 0 as a natural number. But in this context, it's just the positive integers. I shouldn't have said positive numbers. I should have said positive integers. It obviously doesn't include the numbers in between the integers. So natural are the numbers in this context. You'll see other contexts where this would be described as natural. In this context, the natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 so on and so forth. And of course, there's no ambiguity about what integers are. Everyone agrees on that. Integers are, we could just, you know, it's you could go arbitrarily negative and then negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and you can just keep going in the positive direction. So if x is a whole number, when they say whole numbers, they mean it is non-negative. What other sets does x belong to? Well, if it's a whole number, it's any one of these numbers. And all of these numbers are also integers, right? The whole set of whole numbers, by, by the convention they're using, is this set right here. It is a subset of integers. It is a subset of integers. So we know that x is also an integer. x, x is also a member of integers. That means a member, a member of a set. x is also a member of integers. But it will not be a member of natural numbers, or at least the way that they've defined it, because whole number, a whole number, 0, x could be 0. 0 is considered a whole number. But if x were 0, it would not be a member of the natural numbers. So we can't say it's natural. All we can say is, is that it's definitely integers. It's definitely rational, because any whole number, you can just divide it by 1 and represent it as a fraction. So x is a member of rationals. And of course, it's also a member of the real, which is the broadest set that we know of.